Today I'm going to show you four different ways that you can make smooth animations in Fusion. So I've created four different rectangles here that we'll do each different animation on just so that we can see what each animation does differently. We're going to start on the, the left rectangle here, which is this one that's kind of in the center of the screen right now. And this will be the very basic way of making a smooth animation in Fusion. And that's just creating multiple points and then hitting a smooth button. So we'll start with this first rectangle here and we'll animate that. Let's call it on the Y axis right here. We'll do a Y offset for it. And so we'll start it at zero. We'll start it up here in the center. At 10, we'll put it down here in the bottom. And at 20, we'll put it up above where it was before. What we'll see here, we have this V right here that we can make smooth. If we watch it right now, it's gonna be kind of just jagged it won't be really smooth in terms of where it goes it definitely hits the bottom there and then starts moving back up but if we come and look at this curve over here and then we select all of the points and smooth it out now it's going to be a much more smooth animation across all of them it's not going to completely hit the bottom there but it's just going to go down and then plop right back up above where it was that's the simplest way to make a smooth animation in fusion but there are a couple other ways that you can make a smooth animation as well they're just not as commonly used. For our next animation, we'll be using this rectangle here that's on the left side. What we'll do is we'll animate the rotation of this rectangle. So we'll come over here and click the angle, right click on angle here, and then hit modify with B spline. And so now when we do an animation for this, this will be a smooth animation just from the get go. And we're at frame 20 right now. So let's go back 10 frames and we'll rotate it a little bit. And then we'll go back to frame zero and we'll go back to, to zero. So now this rectangle will rotate a little bit and come back to its original position. But what we'll see in the spline editor here is that it's automatically a parabola. So it's not some jagged animation to start with. And this is what a B spline does. It creates this one control point up here that we can manage the whole smoothness of the animation from. If you press W on your keyboard and drag right or left, what will happen is you'll create a more jagged or a more smooth to flat animation. And so what you'll see is here is the most jagged we can be and it will create this jagged animation. But if we come back to it and we press W again, and we drag over a little bit more, we can make it smooth again and it will just be a smooth animation. This generally isn't used, but it's another way that you can create a smooth animation in Fusion. Moving on to the next one, we'll use this rectangle up here at top and we'll do what's called a cubic animation. So let's animate the height with that. What we'll do is we'll right click the height and modify with cubic spline. And so if we start out at zero, we go to frame 10 and we increase the height here and then we go to frame 20 and we decrease the height here and then we go again to another frame and we bring up the height again what we'll start to see is a jagged animation but the real magic comes when you select all of these points and then do a smooth so what will happen is we'll try to create the best possible smooth curve it can through these four points and you don't have any you don't get any handles that you can change the curve with so if we take off these other ones and we just watch this one okay as smooth an animation as possible when it plays back and so that's that's number three that's what the cubic animation does lastly what we'll see here we'll get rid of this one and we'll use this one last rectangle here this one we will modify the width and we'll do that with a natural cubic spline so let's hide these and what we'll do is at frame 16 it'll be what it is frame zero will be this frame eight roughly it will be this and so we'll make it even wider how about that and so what we'll see here is a jagged animation that will be fixed when we hit smooth again and it'll create as smooth a, a line as possible again the biggest difference between this natural cubic spline that we have here and this cubic spline that we created earlier is that the natural cubic splines you can adjust each individual points parabola without it impacting the rest of the points. So you can have a different animation across the, the whole timeline. Whereas on this regular cubic spline, what happens is every point that you modify, it modifies the spline itself as well. So if we look at all these splines in the spline editor here, you can see the four different ways of smoothing in action. The Bezier curve with a smoothing attached to it, the B spline, the cubic spline and the natural cubic spline. And so when you're animating next, try some of these out. They're pretty nice ways to create smooth animations without having to deal with multiple different keyframes and trying to make sure those keyframes are perfect. One little bonus tip if you stayed this long is if you have a Bezier spline like this one is where you have the handles 
and you want it to be eased a little bit better without having to like move this handle and make sure that it's in the same position the whole time because sometimes you may be doing this. Um, this is something I learned from Casey Ferris. If you press T on the keyboard, you get this little menu that pops up that's ease in and ease out. And so you select your point, you can now ease this point in or out and create a nice smooth ease in and ease out animation just by adjusting these points the way you want to.